Hey everyone, how's it going today? I'm Crypto Foxy. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. So in this video, we are going to have a good old fashioned check of the HBAR price, uh, have a look at the technical analysis and see what's going on in regards to price action. Uh, but before we do so, please make sure you smash the like button and you're subscribed to my channel as well for more cryptocurrency news. I cover HBAR all the time. Um, recently, I've been covering um, different news events that have been going on, but this time we are going to focus on some technical analysis. So what is the charts showing us? So a much awaited breakout was witnessed and a surge of over 25% in the last two weeks was noted. The overall trend is bullish and the token is poised for an upward move and may deliver the bullish delights in the next sessions. I love how sometimes they write this, the bullish delights. So the bullish delights are in the next sessions. It has a monthly return ratio of 5% and 89% yearly, uh, signifying a long-term bullish trend. So that is very good. Analysts are also bullish and suggest that HBAR crypto may replicate a sharp bull run and will reach the upside of 15 cents shortly. So it has also retested the trend line region of 9 cents and rebounded from the 200-day EMA mark this week. Um, so that was after the flag breakout there. Um, we do see the breakout that happened. But as we know that that was a misunderstanding about the BlackRock tokenization uh, and that subsequently led to a breakdown of the price as well uh, shortly afterwards. However, we are still in an uptrend when you look right here. You can see, um, so this was uh, the price basically coming down. We had a bit, of, a bit of a correction in the overall crypto market, and we saw the price shoot up, but it came back down. But it's also still trending a little bit higher, so we are in a little bit of a recovery there as well. So there's intraday trading volume, and it dropped over 45% to 149 million, reflecting low volume buying which was a prime concern, but breakout and close above the 12 cent mark can confirm the upward move. Where are we at right now? We are sitting at just under 11 cents. Um, we can see here we're just kind of fluctuating and this is just the one day chart, but we'll go over the seven day. Even since just uh, a couple of, the last couple of days, we've been kind of just trading in this tight window right here. So, you know, things are just kind of figuring out where it's go where it's going to basically go from here. Now, the price volatility curve reflected the roller coaster moves last week, but we already know what that was from, from the BlackRock news that uh, was a little bit misunderstood, in my opinion. And uh, I think people interpreted it uh, incorrectly, and that's what led to this massive run up and then a big sell off because people thought Hedera was partnering directly with BlackRock, and that was not the case. Um, but that is okay. Things are behind us. Uh, BlackRock is still being tokenized on the on the Hedera network, so I don't see, really see how that's much of a difference. Um, uh, but it's, it's a slight difference. I, I mean, I will admit that. The development activity is showing a consistent up move as well, and the data highlights the short-term bullish trend, and investors are showcasing their interest by basically betting on Hedera moving up, right? Open interest did drop over 7.89%. The price up move, um, followed by price up move, buyers are making fresh long additions and putting in efforts to initiate an up upward move. The HBAR price did cross the key moving averages, and similarly, the trend is bullish and technical indicators are suggesting further upside towards the 14 cent mark, which would be really nice to see. Support levels are around 10 cents and 9.6 cents, and resistance levels are at 13 and 15. So we could see some resistance from 13, followed by a price uh, move down again. Um, usually we'll you know see it try to break out again, and hopefully we'll get upwards towards that 15 cent mark and stay there this time. I know the BlackRock news spooked everybody and uh, people thought they were being deceived. I think it was just a misinterpretation. Um, and when I read that, I, I knew directly that they weren't partnering with BlackRock, but BlackRock is being tokenized on the Hedera network and that's what matters to me. So um, yeah, we'll go over and we'll just take another quick look. So on the seven day, we're up 3.5% on the month. We are up almost 5%. So Hedera is still moving in the right way. HBAR price is moving up as well. Oh, and this year's Marjax. So I've been doing a little bit of... Uh, Leverage trading on Marjax, I've, I've uh, been basically practicing. Uh, I'm probably losing as much as I'm winning. However, you know, I'm kind of you know, learning the tools, trying to fine tune uh, some of my strategies and such. And this is something I'm going to be working on over the summer. Um, but that's what I got for you guys in this quick video. I just wanted to give you a, an update on what's going on with the Hedera price. Uh, if you are interested in Marjax, I'll put a link in the description down below for you guys if you want to take advantage uh, of that and uh, check out their platform. I really like it. I think this is something that I'm doing in addition to my long-term holds and my swing trades. I'm also going to do some, you know, intraday intraday trading, um, try to make a, just a few bucks here and there just to supplement uh, my, my portfolio. But that's what I got for you guys. Thanks, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I hope you have a great rest of your.